Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stefan and in this video I want to give you a full review of the brand new photo books by Blurb's sister company, Made By. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you like what you see give this video a thumbs up. It's been a while since I've done a review but as I said a lot of photo books were on the way to me and it took ages for them to get through customs and all of that so I finally have them and this one is the first of them. And if you don't know who Made By is and you probably don't know because the company is brand new, there's their logo there. and. It's basically a sister company of Blurb, so I assume it's owned by Blurb or somehow related to it. According to the website, it's still in the beta phase, which means that they are testing the waters before a complete launch. But even at the moment, you can buy photo books and have a look at the website. But later on this year, I think more products are going to be available. And at the moment, shipping is only available within the United States but later on they are going to offer worldwide shipping. So even if you're in the UK or Europe, Canada, watch this video because you'll be able to get these photo books very soon. I'm in the UK and I had to use a forwarding company to get this book to me right now, but I really wanted to see it because I loved what I saw on the website. I'm going to do a quick unboxing first and then talk a bit about the actual concept of the book and why it's so interesting. So it came in a box like that and it opens up like that and the book is placed nicely inside this um, box in the middle so it doesn't move it's very very good packaging and there's no plastic in it apart from a, a very thin film that was on the book but because everything is is made of cardboard you can all recycle it so i'm going to lift it out and here is the book so as you can see, it's a very unique looking book and I will show a couple more photos of the other styles from the website because I've only got this one. So when you go onto the website and you see these first pictures, it does look like, especially the editorial one, doesn't look like any other photo book that I've seen before. So although the insides are not substantially different to other photo books, but the overall look is, is very nice. And they are trying to market these photo books as kind of higher end than blurbs photo books. And it's not really for mass production photo books. It's more like personal photo books, but you can do them for weddings, family photos, travel, and so on. But whilst Blurb is a self-publishing company where you can do trade books and cookbooks and all kinds of things and, and sell them on Made By, you can't sell these books. So it kind of works like all the other photo book companies where you can make it for yourself, but that's where the story ends. The other big thing that differentiates these books from the rest of the photo books is that all the inner pages are recycled. And as you can see, the cover materials are kind of luxury materials in the sense that they are very unique and not kind of cheap, standard, glossy printed photo books. I'm gonna to get to the specifics now. So as usual, if you've been following this channel, I first I start talking about the different categories, then the sizes, cover, paper, print quality, and the editor. So let's start with the categories. If you go onto the website, you'll see two main categories of products, wall art and photo books and photo albums. Wall art, they've got some nice um, prints and they've got some framed prints as well. I'm not going to talk about those because this one is about photo books. And when you click on the photo albums section at the top, you're going to see photo albums and at the bottom, you're going to see photo books. And there's quite a big difference in price between the two categories. But if you look at the description, the main difference between the two is that the photo books have thinner pages than the photo albums. And also the photo albums come in much larger sizes than the photo books. But besides that, they are pretty much identical. Let's talk first about sizes. The smaller ones are the photo books. And this one is the eight by 6.4 inches. A portrait and there's also an 8 by 8 inch square and these are the photo books so just two sizes but if you want a bigger size you will need to go for the photo album. 
The photo albums come in 8x10 landscape, 8, 10x8 portrait, 10x10 and 9x9.4x11.75 landscape and portrait, so five bigger sizes. So you've got small, medium and large. You don't have anything super large like 14x11 that they offer with Blurb, but um, these books are kind of more editorial looking. Now let's see the cover options. So the books come with three main cover types. You've got linen, you've got editorial and you've got image wrap. This one is the editorial and as you can see they basically use text as a design for these books and you've got a, a larger text at the bottom, smaller text at the top, so I've got the date, I've got the title of the place where I went to and the spine is printed as well and you can have stuff on the back too. Now these designs come obviously pre-made in a template but you have quite a lot of freedom in changing the, the type as you wish, making it bigger, larger, changing the orientation, the placement and the font but they are all printed on a very nice linen and it's actually printed on so it's not stamped on and that means that it can go anywhere and in whatever format and you've got five colors of linen to choose from. Obviously it's a hard cover if I didn't say that so nice and strong back. If you go for the linen option it's kind of the same but it doesn't have all of the text on it as you can see on the photo and it can also have an inlaid photo which is not the same as a die cut window it's basically um, a debossed section a debossed square where they kind of stick a photo onto so you can combine linen and the photo editorial and they also have the image wrap which is a very luxurious soft velvety matte feel finish and you can have gold uh, or metallic foil highlights on it which makes it even more elegant and more luxurious. So these are the three cover types for the photo albums. For the photo books you don't have the linen but you have the editorial and you have the image wrap. I mean the first thing why I really wanted to see this photo book is because I absolutely love this cover. I like text on a cover and I like minimalist looks and this is obviously a very minimalist and elegant look at the same time. Whoever came up with the design, good job. Now let's look inside and let's have a look at the paper options. You don't really have paper options, there's only one paper that they use in all of their photo books and that's the Moark 100% recycled vellum finish paper. Let me show you a close up of that paper. Hopefully you can see, I'll probably post a photo here. It has a, a very, very fine texture and it looks like fine art paper. Obviously the pages are glued together and all of these books are lay flat. and that's the kind of thickness of the page and if you go for the photo album it's going to be a lot thicker than that. So a 50 page book would be around one inch thick and that's the thickness for 20 pages. The pages can be a minimum of 20 and they can go up to 96 pages and that's the same for the photo albums and the photo books as well. The paper type is actually really nice. I'm not a huge fan of matte papers or let me say I wasn't a huge fan of matte papers but now I've come to like them more and more because there's just something lost when it comes to matte papers. If you have lustrous or, or glossy pages the print always looks really vibrant and it almost feels like it comes alive. But that kind of brilliance is lost on matte papers because you don't get the same deep blacks and very bright highlights. However, it's a very different look and it's certainly a more elegant look and it's less flashy. So if you like that look then you're going to like how this photo book looks inside. The paper is brilliant white so the colours look nicely balanced on it. They don't look too warm, they don't look too cold and I think the dynamic range came out really well on the pages as well. Let's talk about the print quality. Although they don't specify which printer they use for the photo books, I can only assume that they use the same printers as they use with Blurb. Obviously this is not confirmed information but I assume they use the same printers as with the Blurb books because they look 
the same, but it's a very nice print quality and the paper really complements the print quality because sometimes with digital prints, you see kind of the, the half tone dot structure, which this paper hides really well and you can't really see it anymore. That's the only print option that you can choose in these books at the moment, which is not usually the top of the range because you've got silver halide and you've got inkjet printing, which they actually do offer for the prints. But as I said, the photo paper really complements the print quality or the print technology and you can't see that half tone feature on the print. So I'm actually really happy with the print and I prefer the look of the print in this book compared to the blurb book where the half tone features are more visible. At the end of the book, there is a logo and I believe there is no way to get rid of that. So it doesn't bother anyone, but if you want a logo free book for your customers or whatever, then I don't think you can do it with this unless you contact customer service. Now with Blurb you have quite a few options to create the books and you can create PDF ready books as well. However with Made By you can't use the Blurb Bookwrite editor. You have to use the editor, the online editor that they provided which is quite different to the Blurb editor but it has a very minimalist look as you can see in my book. It was very easy to use. It's not a very advanced editor in the sense that you can't do very meticulous adjustments and text editing, but it is supposed to be a photo album editor. So for that purpose, it did everything that I expected it to do. But having said that, you can't create a PDF photo book in InDesign or um, Lightroom and get it printed with Made By. You can only do that with Blurb. On the other hand, if you do want to use third-party editors like InDesign or Affinity Publisher, you can export your pages as a full-page JPEG and you can import those as a, as a full-page image. So technically, you can still create your books outside the editor if you're not happy with the features inside, but you'll need to import the pages as a full-page JPEG. So all in all, I think it's a very nice idea and it is definitely different to blurb in the look and also the concept. I think it's targeting a very different segment of the market, people who are looking for something unusual, something elegant, something minimalist and something of a nice substance and quality. The photo books come at a higher price than the blurb books. This one, the smallest um, editorial photo book starts at $65 for 20 pages and the photo albums start at $135 for 20 pages. So as I said, it's substantially more than blurb, but the, the finish and the look is much nicer. If you do compare it to the blurb lay flat book, then the price difference is much smaller, but they do not offer any non lay flat binding. So that's the cheapest you can start at $65. But don't forget that every single book is hardcover and every single book is lay flat with nice rigid pages. So it does feel a lot more luxurious and longer lasting than the standard photo books. I was very happy to see these and I can only urge you to have a look at the website and see if you like that design and hopefully very soon it's going to be available for the rest of the world as well and possibly new designs will pop up on the website as well. If you have any more questions about Made By, leave them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.